Mars is a very dry and cold place today. Uh, and it may have supported a lot of water in the past. The question is, where did the water go? The idea for the project started about 28 years ago. NASA has reviews all the time that you have to walk through and you have to check all the boxes. They're having their last review that will give them the A-OK -okay to go ahead with the launch. MAVEN is an orbiter, which is a robot spacecraft, and its goal is to determine the rate at which the upper atmosphere is being lost to space. Mars does not have a, a magnetic field like the Earth, and therefore it's believed that the upper atmosphere is being stripped away and lost from the planet. And over time, that may have been sufficient to remove water. As we answer why Mars climate is different, it may give us ideas about why our climate here on the Earth is ideal and how to avoid damaging our climate in the future. The rovers have done a wonderful job of exploring the surface. MAVEN will take a different tactic. It's going to look at the atmosphere and how it's losing water out the top. This spacecraft is um, about the size of a school bus from end to end on its solar panels. It has rabbit ears, it looks like, which are part of the instruments that measure the waves in the atmosphere and the electrons in the atmosphere. It has a giant main antenna that communicates with the Earth. It has a, an arm, an articulated arm that has cameras on it and different instruments that look at different wavelengths to look at the composition of the atmosphere. What we'll be measuring will be the composition of the upper atmosphere, its densities and temperatures, electron temperatures, ion temperatures, and also the solar flux, that, that, that the, the ultraviolet flux that arrives at Mars. This powers the upper atmosphere. The spacecraft itself, we call it a bus, on which different instruments are bolted and secured. That integration all took place at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. They have to put this inside of a fairing, uh, an encapsulated uh, container that fits inside on the top of the rocket, uh, an Atlas V rocket, and that will begin a countdown for launch. Uh, first opportunity will be on November 18th, and that period is chosen so the Earth and Mars are in proper alignment. So a ballistic trajectory covering about 10 months will be sufficient to take the spacecraft from Earth orbit and place it into Mars orbit. To see that spacecraft take off and actually go after 30, almost 30 years of preparing for and thinking about this will just be tremendously exhilarating. We make all these models and create our ideas of what we think is going on. And they could all be wrong. And that will be just fine <laughs> because we're gonna learn something. <laughs>